Welcome to Technology FAQ. I'm Hirok and today I'm going to show you how you can create this beautiful Google loading animation with HTML and CSS. So let's begin. If you are new to this channel, I suggest you to subscribe by pressing the red subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive new notifications every time I post such videos and I post such videos every weekend. I apologize for the noise that you can hear in the background. It's actually raining outside. Now let's continue. So first of all, we'll create a new folder, name it whatever you want and then we'll open this blank folder with Visual Studio Code. Then in the explorer, we'll click the new file button and create an index.html file. Then we'll create a CSS file, style.css. Now let's go to the HTML file and generate the broiler plate by typing exclamation mark and hitting the tab button. Then let's give it a title of Google loading animation. Then let's go to the body and create a div element with a class of Google loader. Inside this we'll create four div elements with the class of dot and blue then we'll copy it copy then we'll uh, name it the second one will be red the third one will be yellow and the fourth one will be green now let's open it with live server Now let's link our CSS file style.css and let's go to our style sheet style.css file and create some CSS variables uh, first one will be blue color blue the google blue color is 4284f4 then the red color is hash E B four two three six then the yellow one is uh, hash F C B C zero five then the last one that is green one is hash three four A eight five four okay now we'll create another variable for font size we'll name it size and give it a font size of 2.5 ram now let's do some reset this is a basic reset that i do in each and every video okay now let's select the google loader class and We will display property of grid then justify content of center and align items center okay now let's design our dots dot let's give it a background background color of gray then width of let's say the we'll use variable here size that is 2.5 gram and height also 2.5 gram that is we can use the variable size here okay as you can see here we have four dots now we'll go to Google Loader class and give it a grid template column property grid template column property of repeat 4 and one fractional unit each okay now 
we'll go to our dot class and give it a border radius border radius of 50 percent we need to put some gap between these dots so we'll go to google order class and then let's keep a grid gap grid gap of we'll use a variable here now let's select the blue class and give it a bg color background color of the blue color that is var we can use the variable name blue then let's go to the uh, red class and give it a bg color of red then let's select the yellow class and give it a bg color of yellow then the last one we will select the green class and give it a bg color of green so we have the dots here now we just need to add some animation so first of all let's add an animation to the dot class that is animation and let's name it any then give it a duration of one second then ease in out infinite alternate let's save it now let's define this animation We'll go to the bottom and write at keyframes and name of the animation. Then inside the braces, we'll write two transform translate y and give it. A value of 1.2 RAM. See, now we can see the dots moving, but uh, we have to put some delay for the Google loading animation. So we'll go to blue class and give it an animation delay. animation delay of 0 0.2 seconds okay, now we'll go to the red class give it an animation delay of 0 0.4 seconds then we'll go to the yellow class give it an animation delay animation delay of 0 0.6 seconds and and uh, We'll go to the green class and we'll give an animation delay animation delay of 0 0.8 seconds and here it is the very cool google loading animation so i hope you enjoyed the video and i post new videos every weekend so consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon if you want notifications to arrive you the very moment i post any new videos so see you in the next video